Good morning, reception. I hope you're all doing fantastic at home and I hope you've had a lovely weekend. So today we're going to start our math session thinking about our number bonds to 10. So I'm going to show you some fingers on my hands and I want you to shout how many more fingers I need to make 10. Are you ready? Yes, I need five more to make ten, because five add five equals ten. Well done. Are you ready for the next one? How many more do I need? That's right, I need three more, because I had seven fingers up, and if I add three more fingers, I will get ten. So, 7 add 3 equals 10. Amazing. Move to the next one. Oh, this is the tricky one. So, how many fingers have I got up? I've got 1. Who can remember what number we add to 1 to make 10? Yes, that's right. 9. So, if I add 9 more fingers, we will have 10. So, 1 add 10. Ten, 9 equals 10. Fantastic. Super. Let's do one more. Ooh. How many fingers have I got have I have I got up? Zero fingers. So what number do we add to zero to make 10? Yes, that's right. 10. So zero add 10 equals 10. Amazing. Well done, reception. Right. So let's have a look. Today, we're going to be looking at some 3D shapes. So here we've got a sphere. Here we've got a cuboid. Here we have a cone. Here we have a cube. And here we have a cylinder. So today, I want to build a tower. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to start with my cone at the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to start with my cone at the bottom. Now, I'm going to put my cube on the top. But, uh-oh, what's going to happen? <gasps> what happened? Let's go back. What happened? <gasps> the cube has fallen off. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I wonder if you know why the cube has fallen off the cone. Yes, that's right, because at the top of the cone there is a point, isn't there? So if you put something on top of a point, it's going to fall off, isn't it? Silly Miss Coleman, let's try again. So this time I'm going to try with the cuboid at the bottom. If I put the cuboid at the bottom and I put something else on the top, do you think it will balance? Do you think my tower will build and it, will, it won't it fall off? Yes, because my cuboid has a flat surface at the top. So I'm going to put the cube on the top. Let's see. <gasps> Amazing. So the cuboid has a flat surface and the cube has a flat surface at the bottom too so when we put the cuboid and then we put the cube on the top it can stay on the top and it won't fall off now i'm going to try and put the cylinder on the top if i put the cylinder on this way do you think it will work no because it has a curved surface it will just tumble off it will just roll off so instead i'm going to put my cylinder this way because at the top and at the bottom of my cylinder i have two flat surfaces and that will stay on the top of my cube just like this amazing but if i would have turned it this way on the curved surface it would have just rolled off amazing so now do you think the sphere which is this one that looks like a ball 
will stay on the top of my tower. Yes or no, what do you think? Okay, let's see if you're right. It wouldn't, would it? Because it's got one big curved surface. It would just roll off, wouldn't it? Well done. Now, so when we tried to build on top of the cone, the cube fell off, didn't it? But this time I'm going to try and put the cone on at the top of my tower. So, do you think the cone will stay on the top of the tower? Yes, because at the bottom it has a flat surface. <gasps> Amazing. It looks just like a rocket. <gasps> I have made a rocket. I have my cuboid at the bottom, then my cube, then my cylinder, and then my cone. But the sphere can't go on top of our tower because it will just roll off because it has a big curved surface. Now, I've got Panda here and Superhero Tim. Okay. Panda and Superhero Tim want to roll and move their tyre. Okay. So, Superhero Tim is finding it really, really difficult to roll his tyre. Why? Why is Superhero Tim finding it really difficult? That's right, because he's got his tyre laid flat on the floor, so it becomes really, really difficult to push his tyre. But, look, let's try that again. Panda can do it really, really easily. He can roll and push his tyre easily. Why? Why can Panda roll his tyre? Yes, that's right. Because it's on a curved surface, just like our sphere. And just like the side of the cylinder. So he can push the tyre and roll it really, really easily. Fantastic job. Thank you so much for watching Reception. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you all very, very soon. Your activity will be on Tapestry. Have fun. Bye.